Alrighty, welcome back to some more Game of Thrones with the Wicked. Um, not like the the magic, the Wicked. Was that a play? It wasn't a play, it was a, a Broadway thing, right? I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Oh, so, uh, how are you guys doing over here? How's your little war coming along? Who's, uh, aren't you, like... Who's the boss man? Oh, game, game. Chill out. Who is the boss man here? It's you, isn't it? No. It's you. Where is your thing? Capital... Where the... Oh, there's your capital, okay. Yeah, okay, so you're not doing well, are you? How many troops do you even have? <laughs> okay. He probably was told to give up the piece of land and said no, and uh, Robert's like, no, -uh, you're gonna give me your land, bitch. I'm sure that's not what he said, but I'm sure it was something to that extent anyways. Alright, so we're taking uh, the Isle of Serpents right now. We do actually... Oh, we got a daughter. Don't have pneumonia. Okay, good. I mean, daughter's fine. I'm cool with a daughter, but I would have preferred a either a quick, a quick son. Really would be nice. The attraction is is good as well, I guess, but quick, 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 quick. That's the one that I want. Now, if she were a genius, that'd be even better. But she ain't. Yep, this is the part where we sit around and wait for things to happen. If we had a siege leader, that'd be beautiful. But alas, no such luck. Okay, there's that war over. Yep, and he's taking his stuff back, probably. Oh, a bunch of independence wars just popped up. My daughter... Yeah, she'll be gregarious, of course she will. Just like me. Hey, don't die. Come on, you're an awesome daughter. I like you. Shanika. I mean, you're not really gonna do anything for me, but you're gonna be around. I wonder if I can seduce... No, no. I don't wonder that. Never mind. I'm not a Targaryen. That is not something I should be thinking about. Okay, two more ticks here. Then the city. Then we can actually declare war. God, this is so tedious. I can't wait until I actually have enough troops to fight these guys properly. A big part of the reason why I, I have to do it this way is... Um, like, they're islands, and attacking them, I could attack them head-on, but it'd just be such a waste of troops on my part that then I would have to spend even more time recovering afterwards, and it would take even longer to do all of the things that I'm doing. So, yeah, I know it's a little cheap and a little lame, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Use every little trick you can. If the AI was smart enough, they would do the same thing, but... They're not. The AI doesn't even go raiding. Like, he's probably... Yeah, he's been at peace for 62 months. Alright, take it. Nope, two more ticks. And we're slowly making some money as well. I mean, I would love to spend some of this. There's probably a few good things I could spend it on. It's just castle towns and whatnot, private farms and all that good stuff, but I'm gonna wait until I can spend it on uh, a pirate then. Because that will be very, very useful to us. Okay, let's bring you guys home. And lower, and lower. Okay, and now we declare war and actually use our own claim. Alright, that's our claim. Yes. Good, good, good. And then we'll just use these troops. Again, we don't need our guy on the front. And let us go. <clears throat> and yeah, you're gonna go siege something of mine. Well, good luck with that. Oh, he's gonna siege this. He is... Oh, wow. I mean, that's the smartest thing to siege. It's the weakest point in my kingdom right now, but it's still not going to do any good. And I believe this is Archimun. You will be the greatest son ever. Hopefully. 
Sometimes those education things are so frustrating because you don't get any events, or you get very few events. And uh, yeah, he'll be group for command. It's still pretty cheap, which is good. Of course he'll be group for command. Get that martial score. Yeah, sometimes with the education, like you just don't get any events, or you get very few, or the ones that you do are just kind of crap. So hopefully that doesn't happen with Arkamoon. But we shall find out. In like 10 years, I guess, we'll find out if he's any good. Having Roth early on is not too bad. Just because it means we can focus on... Uh, yes, I know, he must improve. We are going to focus on Marshall anyways, and having a little bit of an extra boost is always nice. You know what, I'm not going to use any more troops. Even though these, these sieges could be done a lot quicker, I'm not going to assault anymore. Just because it takes so damn long. And he wants to peace out? No, you know what, I'm not going to peace out. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't crash again. Um, yeah... It's crashed twice already since the, the previous cut, I guess. I don't know if you guys ever even see this episode. Um, I'm just going to rush this because it happened... Like, it, it's crashed twice already. And uh, it crashed as soon as it ticked over. So I'm going to rush this and see if maybe that fixes it. If not, then... I don't know. Okay. Still good. I lowered the speed as well. I don't think that's going to matter at all, but... Alright, so cool. We have uh, that all done. We will create the title, The Hide Lordship of the Isles. Excellent. And now uh, we will make a new vassal. Yes, religion. Yes, culture. Yes. Not a great house. Do we have any siege leaders? We do have a siege leader who has absolute trash stewardship, but you're a siege leader, therefore you are you're gonna become a lord. Congrats, bud. See if your if your uh, life skills are any good, then you instantly get bumped up a couple positions. And do we need? I guess we do need maybe in a little bit of an opinion boost with this guy. I'll send him 20 ducats. Alright game, I'm gonna unpause you now, and I'm gonna speed you up again, and I need you to not crash, please. Okay? Cool. Thanks. I'm... Uh, I'm just... I'm... Oh... I'm so scared right now. <laughs> please don't crash game. If this is like a permanent issue, then... I'll be very upset. No, I think we're okay. Alrighty then, so we have this guy now, Corsair Zal, Zal, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but more importantly we have a siege leader. <clears throat> and I am going to bump up Realm Authority again. And how many troops you got, guy? Oh, you ain't got nothing. You got nothing. You want to be, uh, no, no, not quite yet, but they're getting there. No, they're not. What am I talking about? Everybody hates me. Uh, I feel like I should not be your heir anymore, but okay, whatever. Maybe that'll change at some point. Death Isle. Well, Death Isle, death is coming for you. And perfect. At least now we actually have this guy's troops we can use too. Which is going to be whoa, way more than enough. That's beautiful. Things just changed a little bit. We got a new game going on. Or something. I don't know. Alright, let's go to... Alright, so this is like the fourth time I'm trying to do this. Um, <laughs> this game just keeps crashing. It's crashed like four times. I don't know why. Like halfway through the month, it just dies. Um... So I'm gonna I'm gonna rush the siege and 
see if maybe like I slow down time maybe that'll help I don't know but this is messed up and really kind of annoying because if this is a permanent thing then I'll be very upset uh, but anyways let's do this again I guess you guys haven't seen this yet because I did it in a video where it crashed in like, on December 17th so awesome uh, but anyway we had okay, we what Okay, we had a siege leader in my previous save, but clearly it's not the same save. What? Uh, okay, I don't know. Let's select all these things. Yeah, we don't have the same people. What the hell? How does that even make sense? Why was the court completely differently from when I looked at it like five seconds ago? Okay, well... I don't know what the hell just happened, but we did have a siege leader that was given that duchy in the other game. Oh, okay, no, any marriage, maybe that's why the other game, the, the game that crashed again. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely a different court, which is all sorts of retarded. I don't understand. But okay, whatever. So, crap, man, that's, that's shitty. You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until December 17th. Because that's when it crashed, and I... I think that's when it crashed the first couple of times, too. Um, let's just assign this. Not a great house. No, we'll stick with no great house. And just in case, yeah, I'm not crazy. There's no siege leader. That's, that's so silly. I don't understand how that even happens. Like, why would the court be completely differently? Completely different? Oh, whatever. You guys have names. I feel like I said no no people with... No rulers, no great houses. Why do you have names? Why do you have families? <laughs> You're not allowed families. This guy is fairly good for... An incompetent commander. Um... Crap, man, all these guys are kind of terrible. Let's get somebody that's got decent martial and is content. It's this guy, but he's got... No, I don't want that guy. Who's next? You. You're okay, whatever. Content, trusting, that's fine. I just want the uh, the high martial so he can give me some, provide me with some good troops. Because he should be able to give me... Well, a fair amount in a bit. Alright, and we'll just... I'm going to... I'm going to save the game real quick. Just so I don't have to do this crap all over again. Like, for the fifth time. And if it crashes again, then... I don't know what to do. Heir to the City of Isle of Serpents. The City of Isle... This, this place. Why are you the heir to that? How does that work? Because the city, shouldn't it be, uh... Oh, it's open. Okay. How do you have a claim on it? Oh, yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't get it. I'm just going to ignore my problems. And oh, I'm kind of tempted to give this away now. Now that I have this guy under my control. You like me, right? Yeah, you love me. How many troops am I? I'm only going to lose 145. I'm going to give this away. So I don't have to deal with that anymore. We can start making some good money again. Alright. Um, now, let's wait. And hope the game doesn't crash again. <sighs> okay, so obviously you guys can tell that it crashed again. Because we're back in time again. I don't... <sighs> I'm so frustrated like right now. I don't know. I don't know why. It's December seventeenth. It just the game stops working on December seventeenth. I don't know what it is. Something happens in the world. Something. Something's going on. I don't get it. And it's pissing me right off. But can't really do anything about it. Um. Yeah. So uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't even know. Like I don't want to. Quit the series, it's only like episode 5. 
I wish there was a way, because it might be something to do with the fact that CK2 vanilla is in 2.3.4 and the mod is only compatible up to 2.3.2, .2, but there's no way to downgrade CK2 vanilla. You can, you can go to like 2.1.6 or whatever the next version down is, but you can't go down to the one that I need. And the mod itself hasn't been updated in two months, three months now, so... I don't know, I'm really frustrated and I really want to keep playing, but if it just crashes on December 17th, then I, I can't do anything about it. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to unpause the game. And we're gonna, I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna just call the episode here. And if we get past December 17th, then awesome. I'll maybe play for another couple minutes because I don't know. I don't even know what the timing is on this episode. It's been so awkward with all the the pausing and unpausing, and all that weirdness. Um, but yeah, if if we make it past December 17th, then I guess we'll keep the campaign going. If not, then. I guess we have to end another campaign super prematurely because this damn mod is I love it so much but it's so unstable I miss the older versions where it was super stable but there was like nothing to do <laughs> okay I don't I don't miss the nothing to do part but I do miss the older stable versions before I mean before it was basically vanilla CK2 with a different map but now they've made so many different changes with the uh, and like the different parts of the world are placed so differently. The wildlings play super differently from any of the feudal type powers. And you have all this stuff down here, which is really cool. All the colonization stuff, all the dragons, and oh, there's so much cool things. But if the game doesn't run, then I can't do anything about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm going to call the episode here. But as I'm calling the episode, we will slowly advance towards December 17th. And... Okay, maybe that's a little bit too quick. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. Let me know if you have any ideas for how I can fix this damn issue. Again, let me know. If uh, the game decides to work with me, and I'll say goodbye to you in a couple of minutes. If it doesn't, then I'm going to say goodbye now. So, uh, goodbye, and please don't crash.